Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I'm gonna talk you through how to create a calm and relaxing bedroom design scheme. This is really important if you have a stressful job or you just wanna create a nice environment to unwind at the end of the day and enable you to get your best quality sleep. My first tip is with your color scheme. The natural choices would be a neutral colour scheme with creams, greys or off-whites but you can also create a colour scheme that's calming with light greens and pale blues. This enables just a little bit of colour into your room whilst also keeping it nice and calming. If you want to create a calming environment but you still want to add in some colour, a great way to do this is through your curtains and cushions. You can also add in textures through your curtains and cushions as well. Adding in subtle patterns and textures through your soft furnishings is a great way to add some interest while still also creating a nice calming environment. This will also help create a scheme that has a balanced and elegant look. My next tip is investing in a really good quality mattress and bed. Investing in a quality mattress is undoubtedly the, the best thing that you can do for good quality sleep and creating a calm environment in your room. I personally have the Una mattress and I absolutely love it. We've been using it for about 18 months now and I couldn't love it more. Initially when we first got it, I did think it was a little bit firm but very quickly I realised that I definitely needed more of a firm mattress and I just think it's wonderful. You can also, if you do find the mattress a bit firm, you do have the opportunity to send some of the layers back and swap out for a softer mattress. So personally, the way that they do it is they send three layers um, and you can change how firm or how soft you want your mattress by layering the inside of your mattress in different ways and then if you need it to be firmer you can swap out the soft insert for a firmer one or if you need it to be softer you can swap out the firm one for a softer insert. Personally we just went with how it came so we have a medium and a soft inside and it is absolutely perfect. I love it. We literally have the best sleep and we don't sense each other inside the bed so if we're both rolling around you cannot feel each other moving because um, you actually have your own side has the mattress and it is literally just the top layer of the inside of your mattress is shared and the rest of the layers you actually have your own um, inserts. I will put an image here because it explains it a lot better than what I'm explaining it at. Um, this isn't an ad or anything but I will leave an affiliate link for them um, just because I genuinely believe they are a really really good company and they are also completely eco-friendly, chemical free and Una is made up of multiple layers of organic latex and this is what enables you to swap out the different layers to create a mattress that is either more firm or softer depending on your needs. My next tip is to reduce the indoor pollutants or chemicals within our homes. VOCs or volatile organic compounds are the chemicals that are being released from all sorts of surfaces within your homes. This is anything from your paint, your carpet, your furniture and your soft furnishings. The first thing to look at and probably the easiest thing to incorporate is the paint that we use. There are quite a few brands out there that create paint that is low in VOC. Companies such as Little Green or Fire and Ball are two that I personally love to use. Another finish that you can look at using is Lime Wash. This is another great product for your walls that enables you to create a low VOC in your room. We've used Bauwerk Lime Wash in our bedroom and we personally love it. We went for a lighter colour because it didn't have as much of the texture in, but if you are a fan of that Lime Wash texture, there are so many different colours to choose from. Next thing to look at would be your carpets. This is a slightly bigger investment, but it's a great way to reduce the chemicals within your home. Carpets can actually store VACs and dust particles and release them back into the environment when we walk over them. One of the best options for carpets to reduce the VOCs in your home is wool carpets. I've done a blog post on this before, so I'll link it below. Another way to reduce the chemicals within our home is through having solid wood furniture. 
Laminate furniture is actually the highest source of indoor chemicals within our homes. Solid wood furniture actually also has more longevity and also gives a bit more of a timeless look. If you're staining your furniture, make sure to go for an eco-friendly stain. I've personally used a brand called Osmo before and I absolutely love them. My next tip is to incorporate lots of storage. Storage is really important within our bedrooms. This is because we inevitably have a lot of things like clothes, shoes, and then just general knickknacks of things that we want to keep away from our normal everyday environment. Making sure you have lots of storage is really important. A great way to do this is have a lot of built-in storage for your wardrobes and then to incorporate some drawer storage as well. We personally have a big wall of built-in storage for our wardrobes and then a big chest of drawers for our bedside tables. This means that we have plenty of storage but we don't clutter up our room with things that we don't need. My last tip is to declutter your space. This is really important to create a calm and relaxing environment. Having a lot of clutter around will just feed into your everyday anxieties and so making sure you take the time quite frequently just to sort through all the things in your room, all the things in your drawers and your wardrobes to make sure that everything is as neat and as tidy as possible. I personally love using the Marie Kondo method. It means that you are focusing on items that are either essential or that spark joy. We personally follow the Marie Kondo method every few months in our home. This is just to make sure that we don't end up cluttering all the drawers and cupboards within our home. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.